One person that has been shining a light on Jason Tatum being the league MVP is me, okay? And in light of his performance last night, I have to say I'm a bit heartbroken because I think that he's put it in grave jeopardy. It's not a finished deal. There's still enough games to go for him to make amends. But you're talking about a guy averaging 27, 28 points per game in two losses to Denver this year against a reigning defending NBA champion, a league MVP, and a Nikola Jokic, even though he's not the present MVP, that would be Joel Embiid. You're talking about a Jason Tatum that's averaged 8, 18 and a half points on 38% shooting and 23% from three-point range in the two losses they were 0-2 to the Denver Nuggets this year. That is not a good thing. Jalen Brown shows up and drops 41 last night on 16 to 29 shooting. Very reminiscent of the NBA Finals when Jalen Brown showed up, but Jason Tatum was struggling. Okay, so we have to take that into consideration. His 29 shots, Jason Tatum. Why did you only get 13 shots last night? I'm wondering about that. Then we've got to take into account the fact that, again, it reminds folks of the kind of performance we saw in the NBA Finals, and you're wondering what you're going to do when you go up against the big teams in the West. You're 0-2 against Denver this year. You're 0-1 against OKC. You're 1-1 against the Minnesota Timberwolves. That is not a good situation for a guy vying for his first league MVP candidate. I've been big on Jason Tatum needing to be considered the leader for the MVP vote. Best player on the best team in the NBA. But the best team in the NBA is 0-2 against the reigning defending NBA champions, who, by the way, are a top three seed in the Western Conference, okay? They're vying for the number one spot in the Western Conference. And against the Boston Celtics, who are supposedly the best team, the NBA champions are undefeated against them.